position. We are Chuck Walla. Chuck Walla, the band. Chuck Walla. The band. Just Chuck Walla. We went to the zoo on a bus. A field trip, freshman year. And then we saw it. We went to the reptile section and we saw Chuck Walla. And so that'd we, be a rad name? Yeah, we thought that'd be a rad band name. And then on the way home from the bus, we were like, let's just make a band. And then we did. <laughs> I was talking to my dad, and I was like, I want to record some music, but I don't have any money, so what do I do? And he's like, I'll buy, I'll go in half with you on this, this recording software, and this little box, a little audio box. I thought that'd be dope. And then we had that for a long time, and then he was like, hey, we should make an album for our senior project. And I was like, okay, that'd be cool. I'd say recording is gone really well. I'll have all the words and all that, and then we'll record all the parts, and if something doesn't sound right, I'll get rid of it. If, it, if I need something else, I'll add it. You just, you just feel it, you know? And if you have an idea, you're like, oh, that'd be cool, I should do that. Some of the most fun I had was when I listened to the first song we finished. It was really cool to listen to it and have it be done. Yeah, do it again. Sorry. Where are you starting at? It's just the... My name is Cooper Van Walkenberg and I played bass for Chuck Walla. At first Chuck Walla was really good and I, I enjoyed being in the band a lot. And then one day it just hit me that the band was just really dumb. And I just, I did not have a good time in it at all. And uh, I decided that like the, my band member was very controlling about like all the, all the things that went in it, all the things that went into the music and like how we would buy merchandise and stuff and I didn't really have a say in anything that we were doing and uh, so I decided it was time that I just got away from that. I was in his basement and I had to record my own lyrics and it took me like 30 minutes which should, it should not take you that long and he, he kept saying that I'm just gonna record it for you and he kept saying it over and over again and I was like then uh, you know it's my lyrics it's my song and you, you're treating me like I'm an eight-year-old. Damn. Yeah, that doesn't, there's no way that fits. What do you mean? It does not fit in there. It the, did. Hold on. Okay, do it. Do You do it your way, then. I just say turkey sandwich pillow that I made in the eighth grade. Like a pillow made, and it looks like a turkey sandwich. Shut up. I said it wrong in my head because you were talking to me. You said I I'd noticed us as friends growing apart. Like, even before we started recording that album. I thought he didn't want anything to do with me anymore. So I was like, that's... A bummer, but I'll get over it. And then in May, he was like, hey, do you want to record an album for our senior project? And I was like, yes. And I was like, this is great for two reasons. One, I have a senior project, and two, my friend is back. I have my friend back, you know? 
because we've been best friends forever. And then I don't know. He just started to go back to not like wanting anything to do with me. I was like, okay, that's a bummer. And he always uh, would keep blowing me off for everything. I'd be like, hey, do you want to work on this? Hey, do you want to hang out sometime and be busy or whatever? And so I was like, as we were uh, in the car ride back from Adams, our mentor, I said, I've noticed that you don't really care anymore and that we're not really getting a lot of work done. He's like, yeah, I'll get on it more. And I was like, well, I feel like if this keeps happening, I'll have to find a new bass player. And he said, honestly, I don't even think that'd be a bad idea. And so that was when it clicked in my brain. I was like, okay, it's over, I guess. So at the beginning of recording the album, I thought it was gonna be five of my songs and five of Cooper's songs. Uh, that's pretty cool. Two buddies making an album. And then Cooper uh, stopped caring. He was kind of a jerk about it. I was like, okay, I'll make a whole album myself and release that. That'll show him. And I did. And so that was pretty cool. And so then it was just me. I don't know, it's just so difficult, you know, to get out there. Especially when I'm, I lack so much self-confidence to tell people that I made music and that I want them to listen to it. Because I never want to tell people that I want them to listen to it. Because I don't want to like, hey, I'm in a band, listen to this, you know? I don't want to yeah. be that guy. So I just, I don't tell anybody. first line in my head and I was trying to write the music for it and I'm like, this is, none of this is working. And so I was like, I need a different kind of chord to spice things up. And so I played uh, major seven. I was like, that's good. Put it somewhere else though. And so I put it on the, I made an E major seven. I was like, yes, this sounds good. This is how I hear it in my head. I swear to God I didn't say that. I swear on everything I have. Chupacabra, that one sucks. I hate that song. Like, I made a, a set list, and that song is not on there at all. And it never will be, because I hate it. It is the most straightforward, boring song I have on there. I hate it. I hate hot sounds. I don't want to go through this again, I don't have. I think it's an alright closer. Wraps everything up nicely in a self-contained little song. I stayed home from school one day and I was pretty bored, so I was like, I'm gonna do some recording. And I was like, what if I harmonized the vocals uh, one octave up, you know, and then I add some more guitar parts, and it sounded really good. But I asked Billy what she thought, and she was like, no, this doesn't fit with the theme. It doesn't fit with what it needs to be. Like it was, it was too big when it should have been the way it was before.